Hi, my name is Price, and welcome back to the Sundown Rundown. Today, we're going to be talking about our fight against Monsoon, and we're going to be telling you... The whole truth! <laughs> Listen, I know you're thinking about it. Please, just stop thinking about it. There's everything... Else. Hole! Wow, wow that's, a that's a big hole. hole. I, wonder I wonder what you could what you fit, could in, fit there. in there. Hello? Are you listening? You were thinking about the hole, weren't you? I'm so disappointed in you. Anyways, last time on the Sundown Rundown, I told you that Horizon was working better than ever after our fight with Shredded Bro. And well, it was. We didn't want a repeat of the first fight. We wanted to make sure that we were fully functional and prepared for whatever Monsoon may have had coming for us. And so we did some stuff. We milled down our weapon blocks to accept thrust washers so our weapon motors wouldn't have to use as much torque getting our discs up to speed. We also added these cute little UHMW armor panels to our drive, mostly in an attempt to mitigate any damage dealt by Monsoon in the event that they got to them. And as mentioned in the previous video, we had ended up remedying the issues that we'd had with our ESCs, meaning that we were driving and spinning up beautifully in the test box, like right before the fight. So this again begs the question, what happened? The simplest answer to that question is, Monsoon happened. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. However, there were a few smaller factors that ended up contributing to the way that that fight ultimately ended up going. And for that, we're gonna have to go to the footage. You'll see during our button push that Josh is in clear view of the camera. What you don't see, however, is our driver. And that's because he's right here, right next to the middle support beam of the driver's box. And just for reference, Tom is right here, right next to the button. I know what you're thinking. Why is this important? The answer may surprise you. Right now, Kyle has his focus on Horizon, making sure he knows where it is so he can attempt to avoid a box rush. However, his focus and his position next to the middle support beam have inadvertently made it difficult for him to see Monsoon. On the other side, Tom has a much clearer view of the box, as well as the two machines that are in it. And it's at this moment that Kyle notices Monsoon and tries to drive away diagonally. At this point, however, it's too late. And I think you know what happens next. And the mystery of whether or not we can get it together currently remains unsolved. We also have one other mystery to address. Why didn't the weapon go spin? Well, you see. In both of the videos I've shown you of us spinning up, our discs have had about a three second spin up time, which is by no means slow, but it does put us at a disadvantage if we're up against a fast opponent. And Monsoon got to us in a little under two seconds. And because we got stuck in the corner, we didn't want to risk further damaging our weapon system, so we didn't try and spin up again. At least until we were stuck on the hammer, I guess. Put me back in, coach. I got him on the ropes. Ow! But you want to know what isn't a mystery? The damage that we took, baby. <laughs> That's everywhere. There's so much stuff in my garage alone that was broken by Monsoon. This side plate, broken by Monsoon. This side panel piece, we cut off of the frame that was twisted by Monsoon. We got little bottom plate nuggets. Look at that. Here's some twisted pieces of the arm. Look at that. We got sprockets. You want some sprockets? This was one of the cushions for our ESCs that got, uh, ripped up. We got, like, bits of chains in here, some bolts. I don't know what this thing is. It says it's from Monsoon, so it's gotta be right. Look at this. self rider support. Bent by Monsoon. Uh, it doesn't look too bent, but I promise you it is. I don't think this stuff was damaged by Monsoon. Actually, no. We've got wheels from Monsoon. Is this steel? Do we got little steel nuggets in here? What are you from? Monsoon, 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 Monsoon. I don't know where this is from. <laughs> it's 
piece of metal with some orange on it. I don't even know where half of these steel bits come from, man. I'm not the BattleBots fairy. Like at this point, I don't think I need to tell you that they broke through our bottom plate. In breaching our bottom plate, they also damaged our central spindle, and you can see chunks taken out of it here and a little bit down here. However, the main shaft that our weapon arm rotates around managed to hold strong, so thanks, Rapid Axis. And you can't forget about the taco. As you can see, uh, there is damage here. The central mounting holes that hold it onto the arm are all broken. There's some damage over here. And the whole thing is definitely warped. Still rolled us over though, so that's a thing. Obviously, we were wrecked after the fight, but also we couldn't really get mad about losing <laughs> because we got wrecked by some of the loveliest people in this sport. Tom was incredibly respectful of Horizon and the damage that it could have done to Monsoon. That dumpstering of Horizon was out of respect. <laughs> Once we were back in the pits and we had disassembled some of Horizon, we gave them some of the stuff that they damaged. Justin ended up customizing the UHMW armor panel that they knocked off, as well as the umbrella that Tim broke. And it seemed like they enjoyed them. Uh, and uh, Tim, you stepped in the umbrella. There you go. There's Ooh, a drawing I'm, on it. I'm not going to open it inside. Can't put it up indoors. We're British. What? Oh, that's sick. Oh. As Tom enjoys the umbrella, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. You don't want to miss what we've got coming up on the horizon.